beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We are going to look at witchcraft and how they mock and laugh in our face. And uh, we can see here that the, the right political party is mocking the left, right? This was an AOC, which we'll get into later. War dress similar to this called Tax the Rich, right? Which was funny because the right likes to say, look at, she's sitting there saying tax the rich when she's at one of the most richest dinners of the year, right? And the left, the Democrat side, don't see that. They see that it, it as a political statement instead of them actually mocking because she's sitting there in their hobnobbing and being a part of it, correct? So the right likes to sit there and say, oh, the left is so blind and they're so dumb and they're so silly. Okay, so let's go forward. We know that in politics on the left, they, the right likes to say that the women uh, prostitute themselves out. That is the rumor of the vice president, right? The rumor of the, our vice president currently right now slept her way to get herself involved into politics. And then once you sell yourself like that, you're always bought. It continues forever. So let's go ahead and look at something. There was a lady on the news that coined or started supposedly the phrase, I believe, um, what was it? Let's go Brandon. We know that is an acronym or a, not an acronym, but a tongue on words for a different phrase, correct? And right here, this woman right here is into politics. She's standing right next to President Trump. And he's sitting on his throne. Looks like a porcelain throne. And uh, she's standing there, and she's got this absolutely ludicrous, ridiculous dress that says, let's go Brandon on it. Let's go Brandon. And it's just so weird how they shape it. So let's go ahead and look at, she's got this, it says, it's not a phrase, or a phase, fr no, it's not a phrase, it's a movement. It's a movement. Where do you have movement from? Anyways, uh, then she's got hashtag LGB, correct? LGB. Let's mirror that for a second. If we mirrored that, that because it's let's go Brandon. And we know that the the hashtag is actually a pound sign. So, if there was witchcraft going on and we mirrored this, B, G, L, pound, I mean hashtag. Phonically, it says B, girl, pound. I know that's a stretch. I know that's a stretch, but let's go look at what does B-girl say in the dictionary? A B-girl, a B-girl, B, uh, where's she at, B-I-G, over, B-G-L, B-G-L. H, I had a hard time finding it the first time. H, G, B, F, B, G. Here we go. So, B, G, B, G, L. The first B, G is an abbreviation for bonded goods. Bonded goods. Kind of looks like straps. I know that when you're in politics, the rumor is that you're, you're bonded and you... I'm sure it's a coincidence, but let's go look at B-girl. B-girl. 
dash girl. That's a name, or that's a word in there. Now, I know that doesn't say B girl, but there's a B girl. There's a B girl. What is the definition of a B girl? A B girl, a woman employed frequently on a commission basis to entertain and listen to bar patrons and encourage them to spend freely. The B-girl. The B-girl. It's kind of like a prostitute, I guess. I'm not saying that this woman is a prostitute. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that witchcraft has a, worry, a weird way of using words in our politics. And is she not supporting the politics? Isn't she wanting people to donate and spend more money at the bar? And what is a bar? A bar is a lawyer. The bar is the law. Who runs the law? Who encouraged these people to spend more money on the bar, on the law, on the politics? The politicians donate to their cause. And so I didn't even look down here, so I bet you... The values this country is founded upon still matter. Freedom still matters. The left is trying the hardest to make us feel isolated. We are the majority of this nation, and we'll take back our country. Stand with me today, and let's take back the house. Take back the house, why? Why? Why take back the house? If you've already had it, if you've already had it and you lost it, why give it back to the same people that lost it? Oh, that's right. That's part of the game. Say one thing, do another. Oh, geez, look at that. <laughs> no wonder I didn't see this. The IRS already has dedicated audit terms for high net worth individuals. The doubling of staff is for everyone else. That's probably very true. No, everybody's just attacking everybody. Looks like a B girl. I mean, if I owned a bar, like let's say um, Hooters or Coyote Ugly or something like that, and I was trying to hustle a bunch of products. Yeah, you bet you. Get me a couple of them B girls to uh, promote for me, wouldn't you? The way America is right now, the way we like our alcohol and debauchery, and the two girls, oh my gosh, two girls at one time. Can you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh boy. Oh boy. People sell their soul for something like that. Well, it looks like a B-girl to me. I'm not saying that she is. A B-girl. But uh, if we hashtag her stuff, B-Girl get pounded. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. Anyways, okay, it's just debauchery in America constantly. I mean, that's not wholesome. This is what Christian, uh, Christian Americans are doing, voting for this. They say it's not debauchery. They say it's not that it's biblical, they say that it's wholesome, but really, focusing on, again, what did America stand for backwards? Defecation, had the word defecation in it. Where do we defecate out of? Where are they sitting there showing and focusing on? Him sitting on a porcelain throne? Elon Musk just today talked about his tweets are done when he is sitting on a porcelain throne. In other words, when he ain't got nothing better to do, he do Twitter. Doo-doo. When he ain't got nothing better to do, he do Twitter. Yeah, I just learned something today. Uh, my control electronics G5, the, uh, you know, G5 with the radio waves. All that stuff was discovered over 300 years ago. Oh, well, I could go into that. But if you listen to Michael from around the world and go into his archives and go to May, the 25th of 